Bankruptcy Act Canada, are you really prepared for IT? Introduction No person wishes to go make a filing under the Bankruptcy and Insolvency Act, RSC, 1985, c. b3, Bankruptcy Act Canada, however occasionally it is inevitable. You might think that people who file our Bankruptcy and Insolvency Act, RSC, 1985, c. b3, Bankruptcy Act Canada, however occasionally it is inevitable. You might think that people who file are just those that are careless with their finances. However, with most of the people I see, it is usually an event outside of their control that pushes them over the edge or occasionally it is inevitable. You might think that people who file are just those that are careless with their finances. However, with most of the people I see, it is usually an event outside of their control that pushes them over the edge. In personal bankruptcy, things such as illness, divorce, job loss, unanticipated catastrophes, people I see, it is usually an event outside of their control that pushes them over the edge. In personal bankruptcy, things such as illness, divorce, job loss, unanticipated catastrophes, identity theft and fraud are many times the causes of insolvency. Of course, lack of proper budgeting, overspending and inappropriate use, divorce, job loss, unanticipated catastrophes, identity theft and fraud are many times the causes of insolvency. Of course, lack of proper budgeting, overspending and inappropriate uses of credit are also involved. In corporate insolvency, the number one cause always seems to track back to management. Insolvency. Of course, lack of proper budgeting, overspending and inappropriate uses of credit are also involved. In corporate insolvency, the number one cause always seems to track back to management. Insolvency filings happen every year. In 2018, a total amount of 128,846 insolvency, the number one cause always seems to track back to management. Insolvency filings happen every year. In 2018, a total amount of 128,846 insolvency filings were made with the Office of the Superintendent of Bankruptcy, OSB. This is 2.4% more from 2017. A total amount of 128,846 insolvency filings were made with the Office of the Superintendent of Bankruptcy, OSB. This is 2.4% more from 2017. Consumer insolvency filings increased 2.5%, 125,266 filings, Bankruptcy, OSB. This is 2.4% more from 2017. Consumer insolvency filings increased 2.5%. 125,266 filings, while company filings dropped 0.8% to 3,580. At the very same time, people choose 0.5%, 125,266 filings, while company filings dropped 0.8% to 3,580. At the very same time, people choosing to avoid bankruptcy by filing a proposal continued increasing in 2018 bringing this number to a brand new level. Propose 8% to 3580. At the very same time, people choosing to avoid bankruptcy by filing a proposal continued increasing in 2018, bringing this number to a brand new level. Proposals represented 52.6% of consumer filings in 2017. In 2018, they expanded but continued increasing in 2018, bringing this number to a brand new level. Proposals represented 52.6% of consumer filings in 2017. In 2018, they expanded by 6.6% to 56% of all personal filings. Are you considering a Bankruptcy Act Canada filing, or at least consumer filings in 2017? In 2018, they expanded by 6.6% to 56% of all personal filings. Are you considering a Bankruptcy Act Canada filing? or at least speaking to a licensed insolvency trustee, formerly called a trustee in bankruptcy, trustee, in order to help you start your filings. Are you considering a Bankruptcy Act Canada filing, or at least speaking to a licensed insolvency trustee, formerly called a trustee in bankruptcy, trustee, in order to help you start your fact-finding, I want to tell you what will happen to your bank accounts, retirement accounts and your other important financial funds. Understanding what to the trustee in bankruptcy, trustee. In order to help you start your fact-finding, I want to tell you what will happen to your bank accounts, retirement accounts and your other important financial funds. Understanding what to anticipate can assist you to stay clear of some pricey blenders. Bankruptcy or, consumer, proposal. 
being in solvents, retirement accounts and your other important financial funds. Understanding what to anticipate can assist you to stay clear of some pricey blenders. Bankruptcy or consumer proposal. Being insolvent is that you are not able to settle your financial debts. People with severe financial problems can make an insolvency filing by filing either debtors. Bankruptcy or consumer proposal. Being insolvent is that you are not able to settle your financial debts. People with severe financial problems can make an insolvency filing by filing either for bankruptcy, a consumer proposal or Division I proposal. Proposals are official methods controlled by the Bankruptcy Act Canada. Severe financial problems can make an insolvency filing by filing either for bankruptcy, a consumer proposal or Division I proposal. Proposals are official methods controlled by the Bankruptcy Act Canada for personal filings. Dealing with a trustee you make a proposal to. Pay your creditors a portion of what you owe them over a particular time period not going so. Proposals are official methods controlled by the Bankruptcy Act Canada for personal filings. Dealing with a trustee you make a proposal to. Pay your creditors a portion of what you owe them over a particular time period not going beyond 60 months. Extend the time you need to settle the debt. Or a mix of both. The proposal is made by you. Pay your creditors a portion of what you owe them over a particular time period not going beyond 60 months. Extend the time you need to settle the debt. Or a mix of both. The proposal is made via the trustee, who uses the money in your proposal fund to pay the cost of administration and distribution to each of your creditors their pro rata share settle the debt. Or a mix of both. The proposal is made via the trustee who uses the money in your proposal fund to pay the cost of administration and distribution to each of your creditors their pro rata share. A consumer proposal needs to be finished within five years from the day of filing. Proposal People with severe financial administration and distribution to each of your creditors their pro rata share. A consumer proposal needs to be finished within five years from the day of filing. Proposal People with severe financial problems can apply for bankruptcy. They can also try to avoid bankruptcy by using the proposal provisions of the Bankruptcy Act Canada. If filing Proposal People with severe financial problems can apply for bankruptcy. They can also try to avoid bankruptcy by using the proposal provisions of the Bankruptcy Act Canada. There are numerous advantages to avoiding bankruptcy. The main differences between proposals and bankruptcy are Unlike in form using the proposal provisions of the Bankruptcy Act Canada. There are numerous advantages to avoiding bankruptcy. The main differences between proposals and bankruptcy are Unlike informal debt settlement, a proposal produces a binding discussion forum where each of your unsecured creditors has to participate in for your debt restructuring. You can keep your pro between proposals and bankruptcy are Unlike informal debt settlement, a proposal produces a binding discussion forum where each of your unsecured creditors has to participate in for your debt restructuring. You can keep your property, including your home, if you can afford to in your budget. Lawsuits against you and enforcement proceedings, such as wage guard unsecured creditors has to participate in for your debt restructuring. You can keep your property, including your home, if you can afford to in your budget. Lawsuits against you and enforcement proceedings such as wage garnishments, cannot begin or continue. In a successfully completed proposal, you do not need to file for bankruptcy. Your budget. Lawsuits against you and enforcement proceedings, such as wage garnishments, cannot begin or continue. In a successfully completed proposal, you do not need to file for bankruptcy. Keep in mind that financial institutions have set off legal rights, implying that if you declare bankruptcy or file for bankruptcy with fully completed proposal, you do not need to file for bankruptcy. Keep in mind that financial institutions have set off legal rights, implying that if you declare bankruptcy or file for bankruptcy when you are behind in payments to them, they will take the funds in your accounts to try to cover all or some of what you owe them. So if you are thinking of filing either for bankruptcy, implying that if you declare bankruptcy or file for bankruptcy when you are behind in payments to them, they will take the funds in your accounts to try to cover all or some of what you owe them. So if you are thinking of filing... I hope you enjoyed the video. The Ira Smith team is available to help you at any time. We offer sound advice and a solid plan for starting over, starting now, so that you'll be well on your way to a debt-free life in no time. For more information on a no-cost basis, please visit our website or call us. Our website and telephone details are coming right up now.